Hello everybody, this is Tom the Creator at Satisfying Sensations. I know many of you have never played with AI art generation, and if you have it's been on a paid subscription or a free censored service. This video will help you get started with what I think is the easiest setup and interface of any of the open source G UI for stable diffusion and it's totally free and uncensored. You will be up and running in just a few clicks. This will require about 20 gigs of hard drive space and a graphics card with more than 4 gigs of VRAM and 8 gigs of RAM. Focus is the name of this user interface for SDXL. There is many GUIs available now. This is a screenshot of Comfy UI, the Spaghetti Monster. Automatic 11.11 being the most popular and advanced to use and set up, requiring Python and other dependencies to get it working. Automatic 11.11 is what I use and here is the view of my installation. Lots and lots of extensions installed with hundreds of options. Being a big geek, this is the style of computing that I prefer. SDXL is the latest generation of stable diffusion. It was 1.4, then 2.1, and now SDXL. This has all happened in one year. Things are moving very quickly. From the download link in the description, grab this zip file. Once downloaded, unzip it to the folder where you will want to install Focus then double click on run.bat and let it do its thing. It needs to download two 7 GB checkpoints. These are the guts of art generation and both are needed. Once that is finished it will launch the interface in your browser. If it doesn't launch go to this address. Now we see the interface of Focus. Looks clean and simple right? First thing is click on advanced and lower image number to 1. Now let's generate something. Beautiful woman standing on a rock in a metallic thong bikini. Click generate. There we go, magic. Now let's play with a few settings. If you want to gen pictures of people, then portrait mode is the best. 768 by 1344 is 916 portrait or vertical mode, and 1344 by 768 is landscape or horizontal mode. There is many aspect ratio calculators on the web. Let's leave this on quality and gen again. The difference in speed versus quality is half the time. You'll see the aspect has changed. Negative prompt is for the things you don't want in a picture. Here I will put brunette hair and see she is now more blonde. I could also put blonde hair into the positive prompt. In older versions of SD, we would put things like extra legs, extra fingers, deformed body into the negative and then pray for a good picture. I still think a lot of it made no difference. It comes down to the quality of the checkpoint training. And checkpoints have improved an incredible amount. Next tab at the top is style. This is doing a lot of the hard work for you with prompting. Without this list, you would need to put into each prompt the style of image you want. Here is where you will have lots of fun experimenting with styles. Let's pick game cyberpunk game. That's looking pretty cyberpunky. On the advanced tab, this first section you don't need to adjust anything until later when you have downloaded more checkpoints. This is where you can choose other checkpoints and LoRa's. You can get these from places like Civit AI. The bottom has another drop down with sharpness. This page on Focus GitHub, the link is in the description, will explain about the sharpness. If you're too lazy to read it, just set it at 10. Here is the difference with sharpness default and at 10. A little adds good details. You will find all generated pictures in the output folder where you installed Focus. There we go. You should be off and generating bikini clad or unclad lovelies in any style you could possibly want. Let me know in the comments if this was of any help and what tutorials you would like next. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.